things that are on tonight, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless your score basket as well. That Almighty God, when the time come again for us to give Lord of God, they will have. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will cover your children. You will bless them, the God Almighty, and the army of all penitents over your children, my God. The Bible said, Hallelujah, God Almighty, you will make ways when there is no way for your children. We pray for hope and heaven over their lives. We pray for provision. We pray that goodness and mercy, Lord, will run them down. Oh God Almighty, overtake them. And the blessing of Lord that make it richer and no sorrow will be their portion. Lord, we thank you for your supply. The many blessings that you have given unto us. Blessing of our Lord and mighty God like a mighty sea. We want to thank you tonight. May your grace and mercy and your blessing, God Almighty, be upon it tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Last night, our week was excellent. But last night, it was terrific. <clears throat> Sunday night, some persons got filled. Some got refilled. But last night, I could see some more persons getting refilled. Ah, 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 Lord Jesus. In the dark, I could hear Sister Butler. Running over, full of running over. The dumb, what, what's his name, the green? Kamisha. Look at It was a dumb, I don't remember who was here. Oh, Curry. Huh? Sister Curry. Sister Curry. Sister Curry. Amen. Yeah. And hello again. Sister Lynette. Yeah. Sister Marlene. Sister Marlene. Yeah. And Sister. Sister Andy, yeah, yeah. and I know again, and Sister Brother Byron, they call the sister in first one. <laughs> eh? I'm working, it was Brother Byron's wife here. Sister Marley, yeah. I'm working. Are so many people in there? Yeah. And Sister Alice, yeah. I'm working. Brother Byron, yeah. and then one next gentleman who was sitting at the back too. What is his name again? You see, you see, it was a dark man of God. And the first is a worship song. Get a body. First is a worship song. Please stop. And people are worship. And give God glory. My God, there was an awesome presence in the house last night. Hallelujah. I want to say my step to myself. And up to this evening, I said to my wife, boy, last night, second to none. And she said, she don't want to hear none of her. She don't want to hear none of her. Because guess what? The kids are not. She has to attend to the kids. Yeah. And she has to miss out. She said, she don't want to hear none of her. Yeah. Hey, tell you tell something. When you go home later and you see anybody from church, you tell them, say, you don't know who you are missing. Somebody said, when the door is open wide, and the Savior bids me come, there is nothing you have to do. What a musician. Because when I sing all this tonight, you know. Amen. But last night was splendid, awesome, marvelous, terrific, powerful. When it was filled, when it was part, God made it. I feel heaven. Church. I feel 
my greatest pleasure tonight to introduce to you the man of God of the hour. Brothers and sisters, help me welcome to the lecture, Minister Anthony Campbell. Yeah. Brother Anthony, congregation, congregation, Brother Anthony, receive him in the name of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, we command the word tonight for a free course in Jesus' name. Come on, just touch your hands and say, Father, there's no other help we know. If you draw yourself from us, God, whither shall we go? Your Son, God Almighty, is about to place himself between you, God, and the people. God Almighty, Lord, you have given him a word, an anointed word. Almighty God, without you, we cannot do nothing. So, Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we pray that, Lord, you will touch him from the crown of his head to the soul of his very feet, God Almighty. I pray tonight that fire will come from his lips, God Almighty. When he moves, there will be fire. I pray for a mighty God that will break the old sick when we heal. God Almighty, those that need the baptism of the Holy Ghost will receive it. Deliverance will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Just stand with me a little bit. Lift your hands in this atmosphere. Take 60 seconds and tell the Lord something good. Just, just take 60 seconds and, and tell the Lord, musician, just give me something. Give me something where we worship. Father, we honor you. You are God by yourself. You are the only wise God. Dominion and power belong to you. There is no other God like you. None to compare to your name. None to compare to you. Almighty God. We worship you. We honor you. We glorify you. We affirm that you're seated in the highest place tonight. And we affirm that you're still calling your people in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated to our moderator tonight, Pastor Ellis, whose pastor and wife uh, Pastor Anderson and Sister Anderson. Praise God. And all officers, Brother Byron and wife, and all officers and officers in the church. God is good. Amen. Amen. Uh, the last time I was here, well, before this time, before this period, would have been the last time Brother Omar was here as well. So no wonder he had to say, Wow. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Um, Brother Omar normally traveled, when I was in Lancaster, traveled with me on the mission field. Amen. Amen. And from time to time, he still journeyed with me on the mission field. God is good. Amen. I don't know if Pastor Anders remember this. But one time Paul had a crusade under the theme, under the open heaven. And we had an overflow. It was a two week crusade yes. that turned into almost three weeks. Yes. That is something to remember. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I believe right after that farm was Take yeah. Praise God. You know, this also was one of the moments that shows how spiritual Pastor Andy is. When nobody has understood <laughs> and believed, he believed. And every preacher that was chosen for that time 
was really chosen by the Lord. And we really had a good time. My God, under the open heaven. When the crusade extends Sunday night, it took me right back to. Let me tell you, man. You got to. You have to have fun. As I did not say it, but they say it tonight. I went for the Byron camp and it should go no further. Amen. It was Pastor Andy, Sister Andy and myself. Amen. And that also so maturity you know, that Brother Byron did. If you realize anybody can go no further, he not kill off himself. Amen. Amen. But we had, I remember one of the times, the moderating and devotion was rotating between Pastor Andy and Sister Andy. But we had a good time in the Lord. Yeah. My God, I remember they used to keep a thing over there every Wednesday. Yeah. And every Wednesday, they, for that three weeks, they yeah. lock off. Yeah. And everybody over there so come over and say, oh, yeah. <coughs> Praise God. Yeah. They gave way to, to the church. Yeah. We know that God was in, that, in this place. Amen. Yeah. And he's still here. Turn the Bible with me to. Genesis chapter 12. I'll be reading from the New International Version tonight. Now we're still under the theme, Jesus is called the new. I believe most of us tonight in the house, we are saved. Yes. Not all, all of us. We are saved people. And I believe this word is fitting tonight for us. <coughs> I'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 7, and it reads, The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household, to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and those who ever curse you, I will curse. And, I, and all people on earth will be blessed through you. Amen. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 70 years old, 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife, Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. And they arrived there. Abraham traveled through the land as far as the seat of the great tree of Mary at Shishet. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared, verse 7, to Abraham and said, To your offspring, I will give him this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. This is a portion of God's word. Let the people say, Amen. 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 We have to understand the call of God. God doesn't always call everybody the same way. Some persons are saved through songs while at home. Some persons are saved through the preaching of the word or through somebody's testimony. But his call is not always the same to everyone. Yeah. Amen. Uh, for many of my shared their testimony how they return to the Lord. There were, I believe, if it's not in the fall, 
they were at Windsor, between former Windsor or Green Pan, one of those three places, at what they call a hot Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just this a little bit for me. Hot Mondays are like a round robin yeah. for people. And in the middle of the hot Monday, as she stood up, is that the Lord said to her, What are you doing, <laughs> What are you doing here? Your son is not for you. And that was the last hot Monday she went. Now we have to understand that there are times some persons will follow the call and move and react to the call to a certain point and just stop. We thought over the years people teach this and they said Abraham was called by God and he was and we give the impression like he was the first that God called him into the land of Canaan. But can I tell you tonight that Abraham was not the first person that God spoke to to go into the land of Canaan. Can we get into the Bible? The Bible showed us according to Genesis chapter 11 and the last two verses you know the problem you know Come even a little further. Come 
that is in the church for you to serve when you come a little further and you are ordained into an office or appointed into an office he still said there is more to me come a little deeper Amen. for the man father was called into the land of Canaan but he stopped in Haran and he got comfortable and what happened he died in that place can I set a form don't die in the place that God don't intend for you to stop Jesus Christ can I say that again don't die in the place that God don't intend for you to stop and so uh, God Almighty somebody had to complete the journey and so what happened is that the Lord said to Abraham that you need to go from your country from your people and your father's household to the land which I will give unto you can I tell somebody that don't want to take you some places that you can't to you carry some people that they will not understand it sometimes it's the anti God want to take you some places that some people can't go because it's not for them to have that they can't understand it there are times God is calling some of us into some supernatural anointing that some people will not and as soon as God tell you to move, you realize you start to lose friends. You start to lose some people who you are close to. But don't you worry. When they turn their backs on you, it is because Jesus is calling you. Even up in a higher place, not everybody can appreciate where can appreciate where God is calling you. Oh, it's time for you to understand that you have to shed some people. You have to get rid of some people from out of your space. It doesn't matter how close you are to them. Good God Almighty, for the Lord said to Abraham, Can I tell people 
that familiarity will kill the anointing. Yeah. Amen. Pastor, no matter how God I use what you be used to you. Yeah. But me and him serving a youth ministry. Talk to me, man. Familiarity will kill the move of God. Jesus walked into the temple and they took the book, was handed the book of Isaiah the prophet, and he read uh, from it. He said, uh, The Spirit of the Lord uh, is upon me, and then he was through. Uh, he said, It's talking about me. Uh, they said, Is not this the carpet, the sun? <laughs> and so uh, the Bible shows us uh, that even in his own hometown, uh, he could not work miracles. Uh, I'm talking about Jesus here. Uh, so he had to leave uh, his hometown uh, and come into the town uh, of Capernaum uh, where he worked many miracles uh, because of familiarity. He uh, had to move out. Uh, where time is not near. When we are going to answer the call as Christians to go to a higher level, we have to show some companies, we have to show some friends, we have to show some family members, because they are, they will kill the anointing, they will kill the body, they will discourage you. They say, it's not this, the prophet, the son, he said, I have a dream that one day I'm coming mighty. We were in the field and your shovel all before mine. They said, Oh, you are not the last one. And your dark foolishness I will be in your body. And your soul will serve you. And they try to kill him because this could not be true. And they sold it into Egypt. Come on, somebody. What you have to understand that it was God saying to him that the only way that this can be possible, I have to take you out of Jacob house and bring you into the land of Egypt. There are times you have to understand that the only way Yeah. Yeah. And more time to pray and fast. Yeah. So 
Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost. For Moses, Moses had to be taken out of Egypt and go into the place of God Almighty. When the Lord appeared to him, he was by himself at the back part of the mountain, watching his father and our sheep. There are times you have to be by yourself. said, Abraham, Abraham, get up, man. Leave them. He said, I will make you into a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. Come on, man. This man was a pagan. Uh oh. Someone now want me to talk about Father Abraham. <laughs> Abraham was a pagan. His father, Tira, was maker of gods. Amen. He made idols for a living. Amen. Oh, God Almighty. And I, I heard Pastor Spencer something one time. And he said, We never can tell maybe when Tira gone out. And somebody come to buy one little mini god. Abraham would have to sell them. True. That's possible. But God said to him, I am going to make you great. I don't care where you are now. God wants to make you great. I don't care how many times you mess up. I don't care about your family background. I don't care how many times you fall from grace. God wants to make you great. He wants to make you great. He wants to pour out his blessings on you. So the Lord said to me, I will bless those who bless you and curse them who curse you. For too long, show us a worry about what people will say about us. And I tell you tonight, Jesus. Satan might say, you all can't manage. 
Come here, we talk to Satan to you. Say, Satan, I'm not true. Because God is not true with me yet. 75. And on top of that, Sarah, Sarah, I was buried. But with man, things look impossible. But with God, how do any mountains you come tunnel through? God specializes in things impossible. Have you any rivers? Almighty. So you have some dreams from your young till your old. Don't give up on it. The psalmist has never seen the righteous. Forsaken. Not a seed of the righteous. Oh God. Lift your hands and watch me ears. As long as there is a God. As long as life is in my body. Don't give up on me. As long as I am. He took them and he came into the land of Cana. And the Bible said that the Lord appeared to him. Come on, man. And the Lord said, Your offspring, I will give this land to them. Now when I tell the Lord, said, look, count the dust. Yes. <laughs> he said, if you can number the dust, yes. then the offspring can be numbered. Yes. I remember the man had no pain and tell that wife buried. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he said, the world shall be blessed out of your loins. Can I tell you the reason why God is waiting? It's because whatever it has for you. It is so big. Can I tell you something about the dog and the, and, and the elephant? The dog will have pups up to a hundred times before the elephant have one calf. Good God Almighty. But when the elephant calf is born, it doesn't matter how many pups the dog had, it cannot match up to the elephant's car. Can I put your whole time gospel in here? No watch who gone before you. I hear one of my deacons. When I was in Lancaster, they come near right. right. Then I leave right, that's the name just round the corner. God Almighty. When a thief then gone, then just round the car. No, no, gone far. No, what's there not seen them? But you never said, we upon God, the man. I didn't know what it was, it was a tell somebody. I didn't know what it was a tell somebody, we upon God. But they are waiting upon the Lord. Our God is standing you. Yes, shame is a mountain. With the wings like eagle. Let us somebody need to wait. And the Lord said, Abraham, all of this will your offspring have. And at that time, Cain and I were dwelling in the land. But don't you worry. If God said it is yours, it is yours. And the devil can't stop it. How do you know? Because hear what the Bible said. After the flood, Noah became drunk. Sometimes God used some people to say, man, a drunk guy. <laughs> and Ham went in and saw his father nakedness. And back out and start mock, telling two brothers of them. But they were so ashamed for their father. They cover him up. And the Bible said, when Noah woke up 
out of his drunkenness. Hallelujah. He said, Ham, a curse came on your son. Hallelujah. Canaan shall be a servant and to shame and Japheth shall dwell in Shem's house. What you have to understand is that Abraham is a descendant of Shem. The children of Israel are descendants of Shem. And the land of Canaan is they are the children of Canaan. And Canaan is a son that was cursed by Noah. And so if God told Abraham that he will get the land, he will get the land because God has already set it in motion before Abraham was born. Can I tell you that whatever God has for you was already set in motion before you came upon this earth? And if you obey the call, then you will accept it. I'm my 
You see, here about life is a shadow of the dispensation that we are living in now. Abraham's life was not governed under law. It was governed under grace. Yes. Amen. Because law is not believing God by faith, but believing God by the letter. Faith, grace, is believing God by faith. And so he goes to Egypt. And he says, all right, do before we go in another place, I tell them to you, my sister. Because you're so pretty. Because they're going to kill me and take you from me. Sometimes, even though God says you are protected, it doesn't mean that fear is going to come. True. Because fear the man gets through the kid that life. True, true. Fear. I want to fear a took. So all right, I'll be a problem in my house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be a disease start take over Egypt. Mm. The man consult who you consult. And God make sure you get everybody message. <laughs> and that's something. Yeah. Not because of Satan no means that God knows you Satan. Yeah. But the Bible tells me in the book of King that God in the book of Kings that when Jehovah fought was supposed to help Ahab. Yeah. The Bible said the Lord sent out a lying spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And they believe a lie. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. And so maybe the astrologers and the magicians and the soothsayers yeah. told Pharaoh, say, listen man. That woman here. Yeah. <laughs> and a man their wife. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 God tell every witch and wizard said that one day. God, can I tell you that Satan know you as long as you stay under God, Satan know you. Amen. Satan know who you be. Amen. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Who are you? I remember I was in a retreat. A Manchester retreat one year. And this girl was this. And Minister Hall was walking by. I mind her own business. And the demon said, I don't want a lawyer. <laughs> I remember myself in a camp. The demon said, I don't want a boy in the name. Hallelujah. See, as a Too trench. much fire upon him. Mm-hmm. You see, it's not what, it is not because oh, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, but because I'm under the banner. Amen. 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 God know who he who belong to him and who don't belong to him. Yes. Satan know too. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 We can't fool each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we can't fool God and we can't fool Satan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Satan, some people not like that one. But it's, it's the truth. Satan was around long before man. Yeah. True. Uh oh. Yes. Yes. Satan has stopped the man from the day man was created. Yes. He said, No, about man. Yes. Boy, witnesses. And the pattern of mankind doesn't change. Mm-hmm. We are tempted by the same type of sin. Three major sins that govern the world the mm-hmm. loss of the eye, the loss of the flesh, and pride of life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we weakness. And you know what fear we must do. Mm-hmm. And you know what fear me be. Yeah. Amen. If you know, say, money are my problem. You know, I'm telling you with food. Come here, go walk past the food, but they might not walk past the people in money. Yeah. 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 I never said that I'm my problem, you know. Yeah. <laughs> are you hearing the young man? Yes. Yeah. But let me get back to the thing. You have to understand, Abraham. He was on his way to greatness. Mm-hmm. But he had to pass through some things. Yes. And in the midst of it, all of these things, teaching ex- gave him experiences, gave him knowledge. And also he gained from them. Let me tell you something. Christians, 
Stop praying for God, take away your persecution, embrace it. Yeah. Jesus never tell me that we must pray that you go away. He said, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Yeah. We know he had. True. But Jesus never said, Pray for your persecution. A three time Paul prayed to whatever was troubling him. And God said, Make it happen yeah. for my grace. Yeah. Yeah. So when he went down, the, the Bible said, when fear of fire out what take place, fear said, you know what, take, take, take your wife. Yeah. And, and before that, fear gave him animals, holy yeah. for cattle, and, and sheep, and gave him servants. And he said, take them and go on. And he said, move over, I don't want nobody touching my wife. <laughs> Sometimes, in order for you to reach the place that God wants to take you, you have to go through some hard can I testify? I remember when I came under uh, persecution left, right, and center. A persecution my church? Yes. Can I say that again? Yes. What am I saying? Persecution at the church. Left, right, and center. I'm a pastor, I'm here. At this summer, when I go to it, and I'm nearly buckling under pressure. I don't know when I I must hear some the church today. Yeah. Yes. One good Friday, after I step out of Lancaster Church, and I see him go down. And I stop and come and stop him and come down with him. He not even wait in church over right out at door and take me. Maybe I must hear some of the Take me further from the church, but I'm encouraging that nobody not here. And he gave me some encouragement. Talk to me no man. And I held on to it and look at me now. Yes, yes, yes. You hear me? Don't pray that the persecution is going. Embrace it. Yes. 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 Two years ago, I was asked to preach at the Westmoreland Convention. Nobody now know me. But I'm a keynote speaker. The parish was there confessed. He said, When I was recommended, he didn't know me. He called, but the person gave the recommendation, gave a good recommendation. He called the National University of Acts for me. He didn't know me. I'm going to make you was the man first convention as overseer. Yeah. So you have to come good to everybody I watch. Yeah. And now you get one man and nobody will know. Oh, Jesus Christ, listen, what a chance he might take. But he get the recommendation already. And he doesn't go through with the same way. With the finger cross. Talk to me now, man. On my first night, a whole heap of people criticize. Oh, theologically, it's not correct. People from other parish. Oh, God Almighty. I mean, hear about the news and the Holy Spirit tell me how people tell me about it. And I'm telling the Holy Spirit, sometimes people tell me. Yeah. And sometimes God has made them confess. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. And when we're done, preach at the convention, my name now.